So let's start. Uh, we are going to start with bond valuation. Okay, so please write the chapter's name. Bond valuation. Write the chapter's name. Bond valuation. So let us understand what is bond. So bond means what? Long term debt instrument. Correct. We have heard of bond. If I ask. Uh, people may say that bond is issued by whom? By government. Correct. Right. But that is not true. Why? Because uh, generally, uh, whenever any debt instrument, whether it is issued by uh, government or a corporate, private sector, okay, it is called bond in US. Is that clear? So generally in India what happens whenever we say bond instantly what clicks is government bond. But that is not true. Means here when we are talking about the bond means it's bond as well as debenture. Okay. Why debenture is called debenture? Or why bond is called bond? Any answer? Okay, debenture because it is a, okay, those are the features, characteristics. I am asking why this term debenture, because the rules, see, first we will understand bond. Bond means what? We generally say, no, there is a bond with the company. That means there is a contract with the company. So, in that all the detailings are there. How much the, how much the, you have to pay to the company, how much the interest the company will pay, at what interval and all those things. Correct. So, bond means what? Contract. Same way debenture means those rules and regulations. Those rules and regulations are called as indenture. And because the indentures are related to debt, therefore the word is coined as debenture. Indenture signed. So, debenture. Indenture is what? Indenture is rules, contract between you and whatever the uh, clause are there between you and the company. That is called indenture. Okay, and those indentures, because it is about the debt, it is called debenture. So, therefore, the word came debenture. Okay, debt instrument. So, <coughs> sorry, bond is what? Debt instrument. Issued by whom? By the government company. PSUs or highly rated company. Even private sectors issue the debenture or bond. We will always say whenever I am saying debenture or bond, alternatively, I will be using it. Is that clear? So, there should be no confusion. Bond means debenture, debenture means bond for the, this chapter. Is that clear? Okay. So, bond may be secured or unsecured. Correct. Now, what I want to clear is, bond means, let us go, those who are not understanding what is bond or doing it for the first time, let us go deeper. So, let us go from the basics. Now, those who are not understanding what is bond, let us go from the basics. Now see, when you want to make a safe investment, you invest in bond. When you want to make a safe investment, you invest in bond. Bond means what? Company needs the money. Correct. So, company is issuing a bond and on that bond, what you will get as an investor is interest. What you will get is what? Interest. Same as debenture, nothing else. Correct. You give the money to the capital, to the company and company against that uh, as a written gives you the interest but i want to clear one thing from now onwards we will not call it interest okay in bond it is called as coupon interest rate is called as coupon rate now if you ask me why it is called coupon rate because initially 100 years 150 years back when bond was issued at that time the bond used to have a coupon attached to it means whenever the your interest is due you have to tear that coupon you have to go to the counter 
and you have to give that and you will get your money i hope that is clear what happens is you have to the coupon was attached to the bond now what happens now electronic system is there directly interest get credited to your account right but initially when the bond was launched what is to happen the coupon was there coupon was attached okay to the bond for let's say let's take an example let's say the bond is for 5 years every year you are going to get a coupon so five coupons will be attached every year you have to tear that coupon go to the counter in the company company will pay you the interest against it so therefore interest will not be called as coupon the reason being that the reason being that one more interest will come okay so then you, there will be confusion so better whatever the income you are going to get from the bond will be called as coupon rate okay fine so coupon means what whatever the interest you are going to get we will call it as coupon rate the interest what you are going to get is called as coupon rate now when the company issues a bond okay so like we know the bond can be issued or the uh, it can be issued at par par means what at the face value or it can be issued at premium or it can be issued at discount in our question if nothing is mentioned we will assume that bond is issued or redeemed at par okay fine bond which can be there are sometimes clause given in the bond that bond can be converted into equity share okay bond can be like let's say for 5 years it will be bond after that your bond will be converted into the equity share that means you will become the owner of the company so that is called as that those bonds are called as convertible bond those bonds are called as convertible bond okay there are n number of types of bond in us there are so many bonds that exhaustive list are there there is a minor change in the uh, uh, some uh, features of the bond and the bond name is changed okay so there are many types of bond so one type of bond what i said to you is when the bond gets converted into equity it is called as convertible bond the next bond when the bond i'll give you one example so that from the figures you can make out let's say let's say a bond which has a face value of rupees 5 lakh of rupees 5 lakh okay face value is 5 lakh but but it is issued to you it is issued to you at rupees let's say uh, 50000 so this is your issue issue price is that clear issue price is 50000 and the face value is 5 lakh for how many years you know 25 years what does this mean today you have to pay to the company 50000 right and after 25 years after 25 years you will get on the redemption 5 lakhs in between there will be no coupon so what is your earnings your earnings is difference of this 5 lakh and 50000 for 25 years correct was there any coupon no therefore such a type of bond is either called zero coupon bond or we can tell that it is also called as deep discount bond because see na face value is 5 lakh and it is heavily discounted so it is called deep discount bond okay so we have to value this also we will be learning valuation of this heavy discount issued at a very heavy discount so it is called deep discount what is the logic why we call it zero coupon because there is no coupon in between you give 50000 today after 25 years they will give you 5 lakhs right now what is the position of the bond holder bond holder is not a owner of the company he is the creditor of the company right obviously he is the creditor of the company who owns the actual risk the equity holders 
they own the actual risk right now equity shareholders own the actual risk of the company they are the true owners of the company obviously bond holders has lesser risk or lower risk as compared to equity shareholders okay in the same organization if you ask me in the same organization bond holder is also there equity shareholder is also there who has a more risk equity shareholder bond holder holds less risk now let's say sometimes there is a clause with the debenture holder or the bond holder when it doesn't rec doesn't receive the interest now if the company is unable to pay the interest they can ask the company to sell the company's asset and they can recover their principal okay from the company point of view na from the company point of view understand company has a more risk with respect to bond as compared to equity because there is obligation na company as a if i am the company i have borrowed money so if i have issued the bond that means i have the more risk but for the bond holder okay as compared to equity he is he has a lesser risk correct now uh why people issue bond what may be the reason see government sometimes issue the bond why government issues the bond because government has some expenses they want to meet some expenses and there is some liquidity crunch okay they need some money so they issue the bond and when they issue the bond they raise the money correct second is as compared to equity bond is the cheapest source of financing am i right correct because see obviously if the bond holder and the equity equity holder who has the more risk equity shareholder so if equity is expecting 20% and is taking more risk that means bond holder is taking the less risk it means that bond holder should be paid less than that let's say 15% just an example yes or no because he has the more risk that means he will be expecting more equity shareholder right now so bond is a cheapest source as compared to other source of finance so therefore generally it is issued so one thing is government issues why government issues to meet their expenses and next is the why the, the reason is it is a cheapest source of finance and one more thing if you know that when we issue the bond the interest what is paid is tax deductible expense right is tax deductible expense correct na right na so there is a tax savings there is a tax savings so that is also the reason because there is a finance this is called as financial leverage this is called as financial leverage so company gets a financial leverage and their earnings increases their what earnings increases okay so therefore companies generally they are more interested in issuing bond now see uh, one more one more point in the same thing that because the interest is deductible interest tax tax deductible and a country like india which has a high tax which is into the high tax rate correct so the corporates can save more isn't it corporates can save more because more the tax more will be the tax savings because interest is what tax deductible expense correct the last reason why the corporates issue the bond is that uh, ownership does not get diluted right now if let's say i want to issue i want to issue let's say 100 crore i can issue equity also or i can issue bond also but when i issue equity ownership will be transferred those will be buying the equity correct so they will obviously your ownership will get diluted but if you issue the bond these people are not the owners of the company these people are what they are the creditors of the company correct right now let's do some important terms now what is the important terms in bond the first thing is you have already done this things i'm just giving you a revision i'm going from the basics face value face value we know nominal value correct now either it will be 100 or it can be 1000 right face value correct why face value is used the coupon rate is calculated on the face value 
Coupon is not calculated on the market price. Coupon is calculated on the face value, which is written on the bond space, which is written on the bond space. That is called face value. Right. The next is coupon rate. As I said, coupon is what? Nothing but interest rate. Till this date, when we said now that debenture had a 15% interest, that 15% now onwards will be called as coupon rate. Is that clear? Understood. So two terms we have done of the bond, right? The third term is coupon payment. The one more thing. Coupon payment means what? Now, sometimes what happens, coupon payment means when the coupon will be paid. Now, some bonds, they pay it quarterly. Some bonds, they pay it semi-annually. Some bonds, they pay it annually. Understood? If the problem is silent, if the problem is silent, then obviously it will be annual payment. If the problem doesn't say anything, we will assume that the bond is going to pay you annual coupon. Is that clear? Next is maturity date. Maturity date means what? The date when the bond will get matured, when your face value will be repaid. Correct? Now let's say the face value of your bond is 1000 and on that coupon is on that coupon is 10%. Okay, so understand, understand, you will get, and this is for 5 years, so you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if this is the timeline, here you will get 100 coupon, 10% of 1000, you have bought one bond, so here 100, here 100, here 100, but at the 5th year, that is on the maturity date, you will get a coupon that is 100 plus you will get 1000, correct? That is 1100. So, this, if let's say, let's say, if you have issued this bond on 1st April, or let's take it easy, 1st Jan 2015, you issued it on the what date? 1st Jan 2015. It was for 5 years. That is called as maturity date. Is that clear? Fine. Now, this 5 years is original maturity. This will be called as original maturity years. How many years? 5 years. But at the end of 3rd year, if let's say 2 years has already lapsed or 3 years has already lapsed. Okay. If I ask you how much is the remaining maturity? How much is the remaining maturity? 2 years. Correct. Fine. So, remaining maturity means how much is the remaining period? Original maturity means how much is the total period? Correct. Total maturity means when it was issued, how much was the maturity it was decided. That is 5 years in our example. There is something called as required rate of return. RRR. I call it RRR. Required rate of return. Now what is required rate of return? What the bondholders requires, investor requires, returns. Returns on the bond is called required rate of return also called as discount rate, also called as discount rate. We have done at IPCC level, inter level we have done. What we have done? In capital budgeting, we used to pull the cash flows, right? We used to use some discount rate. That discount rate is called required rate of return. And it is also called sometime interest rate. So, I was telling you that coupon should be called coupon and interest rate, one more interest rate will come. That is this, required rate of return. Okay, sometimes they can use interest rate instead of required rate of return. So, be careful. Okay. And instead of coupon also, they can use, for coupon also, they can use interest rate. So, you have to be careful about this. Is that clear? Okay. To be continued.